Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on the topic of pulmonary artery catheterization. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into the intricate details of this procedure, its clinical applications, and its significance in the field of pulmonology. So let us not waste any time and begin our journey through this fascinating topic with a detailed exploration of the pulmonary artery catheterization. In this section, we will delve into the anatomy and physiology of the pulmonary artery. It is responsible for transporting deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs for oxygenation. Its complex structure and regulation enable efficient blood flow and gas exchange, ensuring optimal cardiac function and pulmonary circulation. Moving on to our next topic, we explore the critical hemodynamic parameters associated with pulmonary artery catheterization. Cardiac output, a measure of blood pumped by the heart per unit time, provides valuable insights into cardiovascular function. By utilizing the pulmonary artery catheter, Clinicians can determine cardiac output in various indices like stroke volume and systemic vascular resistance. Furthermore, the pulmonary artery pressures, represented by the pulmonary artery pressure waveform, provide essential information about right ventricular function and the overall status of the pulmonary circulation. Detailed waveform analysis assists in diagnosing conditions like pulmonary hypertension and right heart failure. Now let's turn our attention to the pulmonary artery catheter itself. This sophisticated device is composed of multiple lumens, each serving a specific purpose. These lumens allow for simultaneous measurement of pressures, blood sampling, and infusion of medications or fluids. Inserting the pulmonary artery catheter requires a septic technique and precise anatomical landmarks. The step-by-step -step process, involving guide wire placement, balloon inflation, and advancement into the pulmonary artery, must be performed with utmost care to ensure patient safety. Once the pulmonary artery catheter is properly positioned, we can begin waveform analysis. Interpretation of the pulmonary artery pressure waveform allows us to assess various parameters, including systolic and diastolic pressures, mean pressure, and the presence of characteristic waves such as the A wave, C wave, and V wave. Proper waveform analysis aids in diagnosing conditions like pulmonary embolism, valvular abnormalities, and cardiac tamponade. Additionally, Calculation of the pulmonary artery diastolic pressure enables clinicians to estimate pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, serving as a surrogate for left-sided filling pressures. One of the crucial applications of pulmonary artery catheterization is the assessment of ventricular function. By measuring the pulmonary artery occlusion pressure, clinicians can obtain crucial information about left ventricular end diastolic pressure and evaluate left ventricular performance. Evaluating the change in pulmonary artery occlusion pressure following volume administration helps differentiate fluid responders from non-responders, guiding appropriate management strategies. Furthermore, by comparing the pulmonary artery diastolic pressure with the pulmonary artery systolic pressure, clinicians can calculate the pulmonary vascular resistance, providing insights into pulmonary vascular pathology and disease progression. As with any invasive procedure, pulmonary artery catheterization carries its own set of potential complications. Understanding these complications and their appropriate management is crucial for safe and effective clinical practice. Complications may include infection, arrhythmias, thromboembolism, and pulmonary artery rupture. Early recognition and prompt management of complications are imperative to ensure optimal patient outcomes. Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome ARDS, poses significant challenges in patient management. Pulmonary artery catheterization plays a role in guiding ventilation strategies, optimizing fluid balance, and assessing pulmonary vascular resistance in ARDS patients. Understanding the specific hemodynamic and gas exchange alterations in ARDS facilitates tailoring of interventions, leading to improved patient outcomes and reduction in mortality rates. Septic shock remains a life-threatening condition, requiring comprehensive management strategies. The pulmonary artery catheter aids in hemodynamic optimization, identifying fluid responsiveness, and guiding vasopressor therapy in septic shock patients. Accurate assessment of cardiac output and systemic vascular resistance allows for tailored interventions, ensuring adequate tissue perfusion and positive clinical outcomes. Cardiac surgeries necessitate meticulous perioperative monitoring and management. Pulmonary artery catheterization plays a vital role in hemodynamic monitoring, optimization of cardiac performance, and assessment of fluid responsiveness in cardiac surgical patients. The ability to evaluate oxygen delivery, cardiac output, and other hemodynamic parameters guides the anesthetic management and contributes to improved surgical outcomes. Optimal fluid management is paramount in critically ill patients, and pulmonary artery catheterization assists in achieving this goal. By monitoring cardiac filling pressures and variations, clinicians can guide fluid administration, preventing both hypovolemia and fluid overload. 
utilizing dynamic indicators, such as stroke volume variation and pulse pressure variation, enables accurate assessment of fluid responsiveness, enhancing patient care and minimizing complications. Assessing tissue oxygenation is vital in critically ill patients and provides valuable insights into overall cellular function. Pulmonary artery catheterization enables the measurement of mixed venous oxygen saturation, SVO2, and calculation of oxygen delivery and consumption indices. These parameters help guide resuscitation efforts, optimize oxygen therapy, and evaluate tissue perfusion adequacy in various clinical conditions. Our final topic delves into the limitations and controversies surrounding pulmonary artery catheterization. While this invasive procedure provides valuable information, it is not without critics. Debates regarding its impact on patient outcomes, potential complications, and the development of less invasive alternatives are ongoing. Understanding these limitations and controversies allows clinicians to make appropriate decisions and utilize pulmonary artery catheterization judiciously in clinical practice. In summary, pulmonary artery catheterization is a valuable tool for pulmonologists and critical care physicians, providing important information to guide patient management. However, as technology improves, the role and risks of this procedure should be carefully considered to ensure patient outcomes are optimized.